Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about the new makeup releases for this week. So if you want to see that, then keep on watching. Also, if you're new here, hi, my name is Nikki. I do love a colorful, fun, indie approach on my channel. So if you want to see that more in your YouTube timeline, then subscribe to this channel. I upload three times a week. And by the way, I am sick, so I will sound like this. I am sorry for that. Listen, I am really sorry for that, but we we have to go through this. Let me just scoochy scooch a little bit to the side and then we'll talk about the new makeup releases for this week. I'm on that side and now let's talk about the first makeup release for this week. Again, if I'm sounding strange, I'm sorry, I am sick, but I do want to uh, like film this because this will by the way be the last makeup release for this year the next year I will of course do another uh, go on for more but on Sunday there will be other videos so just so you know there will be three videos per week just not the new makeup releases because uh, listen I do want to have like some off time as well during the holidays and so yeah that's the point let's start though with the CoverGirl clean fresh yummy glosses as well as the clean fresh clean color eyeshadows why we do have to say like five, five times green, clean i don't know the uh, glosses do look really pretty i don't think we have access to cover girl though though again this will be a skip but again the glosses do look really cool and pretty don't mind that there are 12 shades for 10.99 and then we do have nine palettes uh for 13.99 and to be honest these look all quite neutral so even if i would have like access to CoverGirl, this would be a skip. Again, it's all like quite neutral. And I do have to say they do look quite similar, some of them. So I don't know why we have nine of the like brownies. I don't get that. There's one that is a little bit more cool. Like there are several that are a little bit more cool toned, maybe a black instead of a gray. Again, why do we have nine of them though? I feel like that could be like sized down and then maybe added a more colorful one or two you know maybe a purple one even though that's not even like color colorful you know what i mean but i could see like instead of all the brown shades that we don't need like in five times we could have also like maybe have a green one maybe have a purple one again these could have been more neutral but yeah this yeah this is a skip for me another skip is the new uh wait this is pinker times ahead collection by Too faced we do have an eyeshadow palette we do have blushes and i think as well a pink liner yeah the blurring blushes in six shades the color liner and then we do have also the palette I do think the color liner looks cute. I mean, I do have one from NYX, which is Pink Spirit. I do absolutely love, so I don't need that. Uh, the blushes do look pretty. I will post in a picture of all the shades. They do look pretty. If you don't have one blush in that shade and Too Faced is your favorite brand, or you do love the Too Faced formula, this could be for you. The palette though, I feel like, uh, to come back to the palette, uh, I think like looks quite similar to the last release, to be honest. I don't think that this is like something special, like at all. I feel like it just, again, looks like the other palette that they released, I think for spring this year. And this one is probably for spring next year. I don't even know. Oh no, the palette is available now. Yeah. Oh, there's also a highlighter, which is again a blush, like a glowy blush and highlighter hybrid uh, with vanilla orange ice cream scent. Sure, why not? Yeah. Again, this is a whole skip for me. Listen, nah. Nah, I'm not into that. Another skip, which should like stop at some point, is the Elsie Cosmetics, the Minimalist Special Edition Volume 2. These are all like shimmer shades if you see. Normally Elsie does like palettes that mi are minimalist so you can use them uh, as bronzer, blushes, highlighters on your face and then of course on your eyes which I do think is a great thing. This one though is all shimmers. Of course you could use that as a shimmer brush, a shimmer bronzer, a shimmer highlighter. Like 
not a big deal for me though i do like to have at least one or two matte shades so this one is a skip for me uh, because this is not a minimalist approach for me at least but i could see myself using this in conjunction with other palettes but then the shadows are not so special that i want to use them as well in other like for example like this look or something you know because i do have these shades all over it's a gold a silver a rose gold and then two bronzes one copper bronze one one regular bronze so yeah this is a skip for me as well another skip listen we're starting good in this is uh, available in asia now and this is the fit me fresh tint vitamin c skin tint spf 50 from maybelline and this is an oil free tinted sunscreen bb cream which has six shades Listen, the fun part is I can't find my shade in this. It's all quite medium toned. One is a little bit deeper, which is not deep at all. Like these shades are horrible. And like I said, the first shade is not even close to my shade at all. So yeah, that is not none of this shade is working, by the way, on dark complexion girls. And none of the shade is working on pale complexion girls like I am. So yeah, this is a skip. I hope though maybe I feel the concept of this is really nice. I hope though that if they bring this to the US or to Germany for example, I hope that they add shades because listen, but yeah, this is a skip for me. Two collections in the drugstore from Essence. Uh, one of them is the Positive Vibes Only. And I have to say, this is looking strange. It's looking silly. Like, listen, it's looking like 13 year old gold silly, which is not an offense to 13 year years old, but I mean, I'm 35. So, yeah, this, this is a. I do think the palette looks cute. I see if that is available in Germany, I will swatch it. Uh, normally, these come in Germany faster than in. Um, come to Germany faster than to the US because Essence is a German brand. Uh, I don't think the glitter lipstick or the other things are anywhere that I want to try. There's a color changing click and go nails, which, okay. Um, there is a color changing blush stick, a color changing lip glow, a lip mask, a baked highlighter and hair clip. Again, none of this is like screaming by me vibes except for the palette because this one is at least cute but again the palette uh, or the the design of the palette isn't which is a little bit sad what, on the other hand there is a second limited edition and this one i saw already in stores and this is the snow much love there is a mitchamas crystals liquid lip glow a cream to powder highlighter a blush a liquid a glitter liquid eyeliner, hydrogen eye patches, and a glitter lip balm. I saw some of the products. Again, these were sold out quite quickly. Don't know why, though. I think this is cute. Again, I didn't pick up any of this because I don't need any of this. Uh, I wanted to swatch the uh, liquid uh, like eyeliner, but again, they didn't have a tester. So, yeah, that was... Yeah, two... I think two... Again, if I see them in stores, I will see if I like them or not. Again, for the one I showed you now, this could be also possible to see if I, like I said, swatch them in stores. Maybe I like them more, but so far, both of them are probably a skip. Let's talk about the weekly color pop releases again. Uh, there will be a Pretty Please collection, which includes an eyeshadow palette, as well as cheek Dose, uh, fresh kiss lip creams uh, in several shades and color sticks as well in several shades. <sighs> Listen, I do love that we do switch from warm tones to cool tones, from warm tones to cool tones every three years. For me though, cool tones are not quite my per se, even though I do try a little bit of cool tone today. The palette is looking pretty, the colors look pretty. I don't think that there are like, I think three or four mattes in here and the others are more shimmers or mattes with glitters or sparkle in there. I mean, yeah, it's, it's pretty. And I feel like if you do love these colors, I think that's the time where you should buy it 
For me though, I uh, I have to say I will skip on this one. Talk about another uh, Lunar New Year collection. This time it's from Shu um Uemura. Listen, I'm better than that. And there will be some Mad Lick lipsticks, the Amplified Lacquer Lipsticks a foundation brush in a special design. There will be also mono eyeshadows and fireworks. Um, uh, the oil in a special design, a cleansing oil, as well as a hard formula brow pencil. Listen, I do like the design. If you're a fan of Shue Umura, go for it. For me, though, I, I don't know. I get that Lunar New Year, of course, the colors of that is like a really pretty red. And I get that. But for me, this is a skip. I do think they look pretty i do think the design is pretty again other than this i don't think this is any special and i do have red lips so for me this is a skip and here we go again with hit dot and sesame street we did have these figurines from eyeshadows in that i still will skip still skip but this time they're releasing some other products with sesame street and there are some ballot palettes from elmo big bird and the cookie monster and then there is this snuffle up i guess snuffle up because uh eyelash set of two which again if you're a big fan of sesame street this could be for you i think the palettes do look pretty um they will sold be sold separately i don't know what it looks like at least the uh, cookie monster and the elmo palette will have pressed glitter in there at least that's how i see it and i think the big bird one at least looks oh man i don't know the, the picture is not like 100 percent, but yeah it does look pretty i am not the biggest fan of sesame street i didn't watch that when i grew up so for me this is a skip even though the palette six pence hit hard i do like the color schemes in particular but again i don't like pressed glitter like for me at least and yeah it's nothing special or new that i would say okay i will go for this so this is a skip as well and then we do have probably a new palette from by patrick tar and this one um I don't even know. Uh, it seems like there was a picture of it at one of the shoots and then Trend Mood uh, was asking for it and they confirmed it's Major D1 and it's Lightning and it's the Lightning and looks like they might be working on a new palette. I, I don't know. You can definitely tell in the picture the two palettes on the down like on the bottom are the ones they already has and then we do have the one on top which seems to be the new one to be honest i don't think that this looks so different from the other ones the first one again the right one on the bottom is the more warm tone then we do have the cool tone and this is looking like a little bit lighter other than this i don't even know <sighs> listen i i think when Patrick Tao would bring in a really cute palette, I think that a colorful one probably I definitely would like buy it, try it. Um, these color schemes are nothing new. I do have these uh, in my palette, so this one will be a skip as well. A release that will be like keeping this uh, Will I Buy It afloat is the new Terra Moon Shadows for winter 2022. So I think they are already up. I'm not sure about that. They will be launching 15 shadows in total, 3 matte shades and 12 absolutely stunning shimmer shades. They will be live on the 17th of December, which was yesterday. Yes, which was yesterday or probably today, depending. I'm from Germany. For me, it was yesterday. They are looking really, really cute. Definitely think they are super stunning. Definitely want to try more Terra Moon shades. I did order some and I did like them. Like at least the shimmer shades. And they do look really, really pretty. So yeah, for me, this would be a maybe. And then we come to Linda Halberg Cosmetics. And she is releasing the Basic Elements Quads. I don't know if you remember. I do own the Shimmer Quad, uh, which is Shimmer Saga, which is the previous quad they did. And they were all special shades. I did like them quite a lot. I will try to remember to link the video where I tried it uh, somewhere here in the upper bottom. 
or upper corner and yeah this time they are using again a basic cord and we do have uh, the all elements inspired we do have a G which is uh, silver a U which is uh, gold then we have CU which is copper and LH which of course stands for Linda Halbeck and this one is the like bluish shimmer I do have to say I think this is a great idea I do love these concept of like four shimmer shades you can add to your already existing maybe infinity saga so you have again for me that was quite nice to have like the sh like the um infinity palette for a face and eye palette and then just bring in some shimmers for this these ones would be lovely lovey love loving Loving, like, listen, I'm sick. I don't, know, I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, I think this is a great idea. Will I buy though? Probably not. First of all, they are not, um, they are $42, which is a lot of money for a quad. So I would recommend just buying them on sale if you want them or if you want this one. Again, it is really, really pretty. It is also having like a glittery moment. So it's not just a plain shimmer. So it is pretty. Do I really need these colors? No, because I don't use these colors uh, like a lot and a uh, hundred times. So yeah, this one will be a skip. Also, you do have two releases from Tarte, which is first one is the uh, let me say the, the Shape Tape Glow Bar Glow Wardrobe. It's a multi glow wardrobe and highlight in candid skin. Um, this has three universal shades, which I do hate that. Um, there is a champagne blur to smooth and soften, a bronze glow to sculpt and define, and a sunlit to illuminate high points of the face. So it's like I would say like the um, hourglass and the lighting palette. I would say, listen, <sighs> listen, I didn't like the ambient lighting palette because the bronze one was not bronze because it was orange. So for me, that was a pass. This one is again a pass for me because of that. And let me see, where's the second one? Do we have a second one from Todd? I feel like we had, but probably not. Okay, we don't have a second one from that. Yeah, listen, it's a no for me. Again, I don't like that this is a universal one because it's not. Listen, it's not. It is seems like, yeah, for, for deeper skin complexion, this would be probably all highlighters or even like something like this. But again, for me in particular, it's like probably not working at all. So yeah, this one is a skip for me. We talked about the new releases from Rare Beauty, and I'm talking talked about the new uh, product she is releasing, but she didn't release that time. She is releasing now the Positive Light Under Eye Brightener, which I think I talked last week about, and this will have six shades, if I'm not mistaken. It's a super lightweight liquid uh, that visibly brightens, hydrates, and awakes under eyes with sheer flexible light coverage. Visibly reduce dark circles and discolorations for a refreshed look. And it will be 24 bucks. We do have it in light, like medium, 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 gold, light, medium, wait, great. Medium, medium, tan, medium, deep, and then deep. Uh, I feel like you can definitely see in the picture it has light coverage. I do have to say I want to try that. I saw already that this is really hydrating. So it will give your under eyes a really hydrating um, like look. Don't mind that though. So yeah, this one is cool. Is it the most exciting thing ever in history? No, it's not. But if you want to see that on my channel, leave it down in the comments. Something fun, and I love that, is the Sugar Drizzle Polish Mini Hydrographic Eyeshadow Palette, which has three new Pretty Wings New Year's. It's a mini holographic eyeshadow palette and this is will be available on the 1st of January and it will be for 45 bucks. This is looking so pretty. It is looking so, so pretty. You can definitely see pictures here. It looks like it is stunning, beautiful colors. Sadly, it doesn't have a, like a really light shade, which I would have preferred. At least one of these would be a really, really light shade, but I do think this is stunning. So if you want to uh, like try those shades, I think this is gorgeous. Again, Sugar Dirt is a polish. It's not like cheap. It's more of an indie brand if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, but yeah, it is looking gorgeous. Well, one I will buy, 
listen one really is i will definitely buy is the Kaleido Lip Rolls, they are releasing for winter 2022 two lip rolls. One is the, let me let the, it's the Polar Placid Cloud Lip, lip Clay Rolls with, um, and then we do have the Willow Wisp Cloud Lip Lip Rolls. We have more of a neutral world and more of a like colorful world. I will blend in for you a um, comparison picture where uh, that they released on their side that showed you how they how the colors will compare to other nude shades because they had two nude world collections so far. So just so you see that they are not that similar almost i feel like especially which one is it echo valley is a little bit way more cool toned i do love the more purpley world uh, so that is of beautiful colors like again red golden ro ro rosen golden resin rosen ro rosin i don't know it's stunning um i do like also siren and blood stone which is a really deep brown which i would have loved to see in the smoky nostalgia collection just saying but yeah gorgeous colors definitely love them and they look beautiful and stunning listen they do i will definitely buy them and then i will review them on this channel uh you can definitely tell me down in the comments if you want to see maybe also more lips uh, looks with that i would definitely be up for that I think a release that I think will appreciate a lot of people is the Dior uh, Edict Lip Mid Maximizer Plumping Gloss that is, I feel like, hyped all over TikTok, is getting new shades, which is also nice. And there are 20 shades now from that, and there are 40 bucks, which is a sin. But yeah, there are 40 bucks. Oh, there we go with the earring. I don't know, it's like the fifth time today. Not feeling like putting that on again. Yeah, but uh, there again will be super many colors. Uh, orange, a really deep color, uh, a deep brown, a red. I think that is a great move because again, this is a really hyped product. So I really appreciate that they do that. Again, I will probably not buy any of them because listen, there are other plumping cloths in the drugstore. So, but yeah, it's it's looking pretty. A product that did intrigue me is the new NYX uh, Bear With Me Blur Tint Foundation. It's 14 bucks and 24 shades. And it is a hydrating medium buildable coverage tint foundation. And I think it looks really pretty. And I think they discontinued the other uh, Bear With Me skin tint, which I do wanted to try, but the colors were not right. I think they were way like less colors in that so i'm pretty excited that they release more colors at least if, but i'm not wrong with that so this is looking pretty definitely want to buy that one we did talk about house of Siliage in our last week when they had a harry potter release and i said that it's so ugly and expensive this time we do have an avatar release from house of Siliage, and this is the avatar way of water limited edition perfume as well as didn't they have another one let me tell you sense sense detail i don't even know there is something else i just don't get why it's not listed here i'm not sure the packaging is gorgeous it is gorgeous but again it is 425 bucks I can't listen I can't spend that money on like perfume I do spend like I, I'm I'm really hard on myself to not spend like hundreds and hundreds of dollars of perfume because uh, you go through that of course but yeah this is a pass but again it is gorgeous like the design this one at least looks cute not like the Harry Potter stuff Sigma is releasing a new collaboration, this time with Heather Austin, and they are releasing, or she's releasing her favorite brush sets, and there is a lot of brushes, you definitely can tell them in the picture. I do love that this time we don't have like a random face brush that I totally doubt will use any of them. Like these are like eyeshadow brushes, which I love, they do look beautiful, and it's a six, um, Six brush set, it's 77 bucks. It is gorgeous, it looks pretty, definitely. Think that is amazing and I love that. And yeah, I would definitely buy that one. 
Another release from NYX, which I totally forgot, we do have the second one. And this is the Vivid Bright Liquid Liner and Liquid Liner. And they are getting new uh, formula and also looks, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, also new colors. Um, they are looking gorgeous. I think, I think a lot of people were complaining that they would crack. So that's why I probably think that they reformulate them. There are eight shades. If I didn't, eight shades, you'd see them here. And I think there's not a white in here. Probably there was a white and a black, but they're not here. But yeah, they do look pretty. Again, I didn't try them. But I feel like it's amazing that they have that. I love that NYX is one of those brands that includes color. So that is amazing and I love that. And the last release for this week is one from a brand I never saw, heard or anything. And this is the Tink Tint Arc Cosmetics, if I'm not mistaken. Illuminating Setting Spray, setting spray plus up to 16 highlighters, uh, highlighter, creamy highlighters as well. So they have creamy highlighters, which are super affordable, I have to say, in six shades, as well as the Illuminating Setting Spray, which is around 14 bucks. Um, and there are also, uh, oh, there's also one highlighter that has probably all of them. It is the Vortex Highlighting Wheel, which is $23, which is interesting because the regular highlighters are way cheaper. They are vegan and cruelty free. Yeah, I do think this is looking pretty. Maybe the wheel is a little bit more expensive. It do looks like it's a duochrome or something. Maybe also multichrome. I don't know. But yeah, this is looking pretty. Listen, this is really looking pretty. Definitely would go on that trend and buy these things. These were all the new makeup releases for this week. I am so sorry for the voice and the look because again, I, I'm sick. And if you see something like this is looking horribly or for nation wise, it's because of that. I'm sorry for that. But again, I'm sick and I do wanted to film this today because this is also the day it will be up. Because I do want to uh, add in all the new makeup releases. Again, this will be the last makeup releases for this week. So if you wanted to see that next Sunday, there will be another video though. That will be coming up on Sunday. And I will upload three videos still even though I will do a little break for me at least for the holidays again it's holidays so yeah and the new years just so you know but there will be three videos up again like normal yes and I wish you a beautiful week I hope you are healthy or if you don't then uh, please get healthy healthy soon uh, I will see you in my next video and uh, I wish you a beautiful week so bye guys